Do you sometimes find it too cumbersome to hold on to your iPad or tablet um, whenever you're watching your favorite Jeff Reviews for You video? Well, today we have a product for you. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel's dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY stuff just because I like to. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at the As Seen on TV pillow pad. It's good for, I guess, washing your tablet, reading a book, you can be laying down, you can be standing up. They even have a picture of someone cooking in the kitchen holding their tablet. So let's take a closer look at this item. I purchased this pillow pad from Walmart for $19.88, which seems to me already that's probably a little high price for kind of just a wedge um, to hold on to my iPad. All right, so let's look at it. So it tells me I have three viewing angles. And if you can see the difference of the angle here, when you flip it, this is more upright. And then here's one like this. And then this one's more of an angle. So I guess if you're sitting down or laying down or standing up, it might change the angle of your pillow pad. So pretty much it would just look like this um, sitting on there. So that's pretty cool. I like that idea. I like that it's pretty sturdy. Um, one thing I was reading in the directions is you can actually take off this cover and there's a zipper right here and wash the cover. The cover is machine washable, but the foam inside is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out in a few different locations, uh, maybe laying back on the couch, maybe standing up. And I'll see what I think of this, and I'll do my final review. But we're looking at the As Seen on TV pillow pad. I did want to point out that when you have it in, in this position, which I think is when you're laying down, it has a little pocket on the side here, so that's kind of cool. And the other side, there's a little handle. But I wanted you to see that before I went into my full test on this product. So here I am just sitting up in bed with the pillow pad here. Um, this is the angled, so I have my little pocket here and my handle on the other side. Um, you know what, it's comfortable. I think it's definitely something that's not gonna let my iPad slide back and forth. I will say if you tip it forward, it can fall forward, but there's no straps or anything there. But most of the time you wouldn't do that. So I feel the functionality here is great. I'm gonna try it laying down and I'm gonna try it maybe standing up to see. But well, this is really what it looks like. It's hands-free. I like that because now I don't have to sit here and hold it. And so if I want to watch a movie, I just do this. It makes it pretty simple. So that, I think, is kind of user-friendly. Um, but I wanted to show you what it looked like just right here, me sitting down on the bed, checking it out. As I was trying out the different features of this pillow pad, I found out that this angle works the best, right? I feel that in the iPad is secure or whatever tablet you use is secure. If I move to this angle, I feel somewhat okay too, right? Because I feel like it, if I jostled it, it'll be fine. Now this one on the other hand is the one I don't like, right? Because you set your iPad up and then anything moves and all of a sudden it falls over, right? And that, that one I don't really like as much. It's, it's harder to keep in here. And so that part makes me a little nervous. So I don't look at this necessarily as three views in one, but maybe two views in one because I would only really use this one or this one. I know on the picture they show the tablet standing up in this position, and I guess you're cooking or whatever, but I just don't like the way that possibility of it falling forward. I wanted you to see the different angles in action. I would love to get your opinion so far. Would you utilize a pillow pad? Is this something you even need? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hmm. Interesting idea. Would you use this? As I was using the pillow pad, I thought of another practical use. If you have a wireless keyboard that could hook to your tablet, this right here um, would be one of the best setups, right? So I have this here being held secure. I can sit here and type and do my work and almost like set up a portable home office or office on the go um, as I'm using this pillow pad. So I just thought that was another practical use for this product. Now we're going to try to wash the pillow pad case. It took me a lot to get this actually off, um, but the directions say machine wash cold and then tumble dry low. So let's see what it looks like after a wash load. 
This is what the pillow pad looks like with the case off, and I'm really glad they had this hole and slice because the zipper didn't quite make it across the whole side, so I actually had to smush it to squeeze it out. I'm really a little nervous about getting this back in. Uh, we'll see after the wash and dry how it looks, but I just want to show you this part, and probably if you can avoid washing that, it probably would be best because it was really difficult. It took me about 10 minutes to get this off, um, and so I'm anxious to see what it looks like when I put it back on. I just wanted to show you what the foam looked like inside. Okay, so this has come out of the washer and dryer and the material held up very well. No rips or tears. I was impressed with that. I was a little nervous it was going to get lint on it from the other things that were in there, but it stayed pretty clean. The biggest part that I'm worried about is getting this inside this bag. Remember when I told you I took it out, I had a hard time. The zipper doesn't seem long enough. As you look at it here, the zipper doesn't even go from one end to the other. So my objective is going to be to squeeze this down as much as I can and just jam it in there. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll let you know how it turns out. And there you have it. Ten minutes later, my pillow pad is back together. I will say the method I used of just squishing it down and sticking it in really worked well because I didn't put any pressure on the zipper. Um, that's right here. Where'd the zipper go? And so it all came in. Now, I will say it's important to know how to put it in because the first time I tried it, I put it in backwards. So then I had to take it out again and redo it. But it went back in. My recommendation would be, um, well, just don't get it dirty because it was a pain to take this thing off and put it back on. But it worked. All right, so let's finish up this review of the pillow pad, an as seen on TV tablet holder that retails for about 20 bucks. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that it had three sides, but I didn't talk about the angles, okay? So the three different angles are 46 degrees, 62 degrees, and 72 degrees. On um, the 72 degree angle, this one right here is the one I thought I would never ever use because I felt as though my tablet would fall forward. And to me, that just wasn't a safe thing. I don't need to crack this screen because they're really expensive to replace. In the infomercial, it talks about you being able to use a book with this. Now, I don't necessarily agree because if you put a book on here, the pages are going to turn and open and move, right? So you'd be holding it anyway. So realistically, it doesn't make sense to have this for a book um, per se. I will say if you're traveling in a car, I could see this being really beneficial. It's sturdy enough that you can fit it right on your lap. And I think, you know what, this would be a great little addition for a road trip or whatnot. I can see both my boys using this in the back seat of a car um, and just, I guess, riding in comfort, watching their favorite show. So on my recommendation, should you buy or deny? Honestly, I would probably say deny right, right now at least because, like I said, this is about $20, way too expensive. And this dropped down to like the $10 price point. Or if you order it from the website, you get two for 20 bucks. So that might be an item or an interest for you. But right now, at this price point, I would say deny. There's just not that unique of a product or that unique of an item because I have other things that I use, such as this tablet holder, which I use all the time. See, I already have something like this. And so for me right now, it would be a deny. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day. I really appreciate you watching my review of the pillow pad. If you want to see another As Seen on TV review, check out the Radical Racers. I'm going to link it right up here. This car actually drives on the wall and the ceiling. No lie. And it actually worked. Check out this review right here. I'll see you there.